So here we are on Saturday night hanging out on the top floor so-called master bedroom of our 1910 so-called character home in East Vancouver. And in fact, this bedroom and the home are so small that when we first moved in and put our queen size bed in here, um, you could not open the door to the bedroom without hitting the bed. So for the first year and a half, we actually just left the door fully open all the time. So effectively, we basically had no door, which is uh, fine, I guess. I mean, it's not like we're doing anything in here that we don't want to share with the whole world anyways, right, Jen? But, um, you know, then you have house guests and in-laws coming over and stuff, and it's kind of nice to have a bit of privacy. So we actually took the original door off its hinges and removed it and went and found a wider door that is wider than the door opening and from someone else's 1910 character home in East Vancouver. Uh, we put it up on a sliding rail system so now we basically have this sliding barn style door which is pretty slick and uh, should allow us to open and close the door to the bedroom without any interference with the bed. Uh, the only problem is that down here at the floor level we have an original 1910 cast iron heating register which protrudes out from the wall by quite a bit, or at least it used to anyway. Um, so it was preventing us from sliding this door uh, past it and one way we could have dealt with that was to just build the door out, like hang it out further from the wall. Um, and, but then you'd end up with a gap that light and sound could maybe come through. Um, you know, a gap between the back face of the door and the face of the wall. And I thought about maybe sort of building out the door frame so to sort of close up that gap, but then you're kind of like protruding into the space of the room quite a bit and kind of ruining the design aesthetic a little bit. Um, so I uh, thought about going down to Home Depot to see if they had some other kind of heating register, but of course they're all plastic and kind of crappy, so that wasn't great. Um, thought about doing a little bit of woodworking here and recessing the whole cast iron heating register back into the wall a little bit further. But uh, this is actually uh, lath and plaster and kind of a pain in the neck to deal with. So I'm thinking about this 1910 cast iron piece and uh, comes to mind that my friend Rob Third over at George Third and Son, they are steel craftsmen since, you guessed it, 1910. So who better to do a little work on this uh, piece of iron from 1910 than uh, the good fellows over at George Third and Son. So I called up Rob and he said, yeah, sure, bring it down to the shop. We'll have a look and see what we can do. So what they did was they, with precision, uh, machined down the thickness of the main frame here. This is less than half the thickness that it used to be. You can see the bottom. The frame used to stick out to this line here where the wood was finished to on the floor um, and they've uh, machined it down so now it only sticks out this far and they've also taken some material off the handle piece which is uh, what you slide up and you slide that up and down and then that operates the louver to let more or less air through and that's actually the part that protrudes out, sticks out the farthest. So what we're going to do now is a little test for the first time to see how this door now can, if it can get by um, the register. So I'm just going to use my foot and slide it towards me here and let's see how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Saturday night in East Vancouver, what I am observing is this door is just sneaking by with maybe one sixteenth of an inch, one thirty second of an inch uh, clearance, which is pretty tight, but that's the kind of tight tolerances that they work at to over at George Third and Son. These guys are professionals. Now you can see I'm just sliding it right by. There is not a sound, not a scrape, no friction. That baby is just going right by and we can slide this door back and forth, open and close 
all day long, all night long. That is sweet. Awesome. So, uh, great. Well, thanks, uh, Rob, and to all your guys in the shop there and girls. Um, you've done a great job. We really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, nice work. Thanks.